Hello and welcome back for day 19 of our 25 days of Christmas. We're so glad that you're here and joining us today as our special guest is Daniel and Brie Ann. And we love this couple so much. And of course, Daniel always makes all of us look so good when we're on the camera and <laughs> takes care of us with all of our media. And then Brienne takes care of Daniel. So we love that. They're a great <laughs> special couple and we love them so much. And today they're going to be sharing with us the story of Simeon. So take it away. Okay. Today, God's promise to me has come true. Many years ago, the Lord spoke to me through his Holy Spirit. He told me I would not die until I had seen the Messiah, the Savior of the world, with my own eyes. Every day I have waited to meet the Messiah. For years I have waited and waited. I have lived in Jerusalem for many, many years. I remember a time before the Romans came when Israel was a peaceful place. I remember when the Romans invaded our land and took over God's people. I remember how some people even began to doubt God's faithfulness. But I never lost hope that God would send his son to rescue our people. As time went by, I wondered about the moment when I would finally meet God's son. Many powerful men have visited Jerusalem over the years, but none have been the promised Messiah. And so I have waited and waited. Then today I heard God's voice telling me to go to the temple. I knew the voice was the very spirit of God speaking, so I hurried off. I wasn't sure what I was going to find, but I knew God wanted me there for a reason. As I was walking slowly through the temple courtyards and praying, I saw a young couple with their newborn son. They were bringing the child to be blessed by the priests, just as God's law commands. When I saw their baby boy, I was suddenly filled with joy, for I knew at once that he was the Messiah. I can't explain how the Holy Spirit showed me. I just knew. I hurried to the couple as fast as my old legs would take me. I startled them. Imagine me, an old man with tears streaming down my face, fairly rushing up and asking if I could hold their son. They said they had named him Jesus. I praised God for fulfilling his promise to me, and I declared loudly the great things this child would one day accomplish. I blessed the parents, then told the young mother that their son would also face great challenges and suffering but that all of it would be to fulfill God's plan, not just for Israel, but for the entire world. For the rest of my days, I will praise God for giving me the chance to meet his son. That's so awesome. That's great. We have a couple of questions uh, for today. Thank you for that, Brianne. But mm -hmm. it says, this is a good one for y'all. How do you handle waiting for things? So would either one of y'all like to uh, respond for that? Respond I, to that. I'm terrible at waiting. You're terrible at waiting. Oh yes, very impatient. Oh okay, good to know. But I would not have guessed that. You seem very patient. Well, he is very patient. He is very in patient. in some things. But <laughs> yes. when I get my mind set on something, you're ready to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we waited a long time for each other. We sure yeah. did. Yeah. With us, so we have a lot of experience in waiting. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm not good at waiting either. I almost can't wait for Christmas to give presents to yeah, you. That's yeah. the hardest part <laughs> is waiting. You're so excited. Yes, yes. We're almost yes, there. We're almost there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the next question says, why do you think Simeon was an old man before he finally met Jesus? He waited a long time. Yeah, it was God's plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then the last question they say, if you were Mary and Joseph, how would you feel about the things that Simeon said? Jesus would do. I think I would feel shocked. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, yeah, they may have had a little bit of an idea because they knew he was God's son, but mm -hmm. maybe to hear somebody say, you know, to actually say those things um, would probably be a little, a little scary. Just further yeah. confirmation about what God had already told them. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. reassuring yes. to them, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would yeah. think too. Well, thank y'all so much for joining us. We've enjoyed having y'all here with us today. Yeah. And thank you for joining us as well. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow for day 20 of our 25 days of Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>